One of our main stories here. We're taking Woo! things that are genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids' arms. We just shoot them right into the vein. Right into the vein. Right into the vein. Right into the vein. Okay, to start off with our Bill, Bill Gates tribute. Sorry. What was that one? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, food update. Uh, this is coming from news18.com. Uh, Microsoft founder Bill Gates revealed as the biggest farmland owner in the United States. Oh, perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> The co-founder and former CEO of Microsoft, Bill Gates, has built up a massive farmland portfolio spanning 18 states, enough to claim the title of biggest farmland owner in the United States. According to the Land Report, Gates, currently the fourth largest person in the world, has quietly amassed 242,000 in farmland acreage. Gates and his wife Melinda own a total of 268,984 acres of land, most of which includes far, uh, the farmland, along with 25,750 acres of transitional land and 1,000... Uh, whoa, 1,234, 1, 2, 3, 4 acres of recreational land. That's too much land for one man. Research showed that Gates, who has a net worth of nearly $121 billion, according to Forbes, owns the largest holdings in Louisiana, 69000 and 71 acres, Arkansas and Nebraska. Wow. Largest holdings in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Nebraska. Additionally, he has a stake in 25,750 acres of transitional land on the west side of Phoenix, Arizona, which is being developed as a new suburb. The land is held directly and through third party entities by Cascade Investments, Gates's personal investment vehicle. Cascade's other investments include food safety company Eco. Lab, used car retailer Vroom, weird, and Canadian National Railway. Whoa! While it may be surprising that a tech billionaire is the largest farmland owner in the U.S., this is not Gates's only foray into agriculture. In 2008, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation announced $306 million in grants to promote high-yield sustainable agriculture among smallholder farmers in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. With 242,000 acres of farmland, the Gates family is now ahead of the rest of the top farmland owners in the country. The next largest farmland owner are the Ofut family with 190,000 acres and Stewart and Linda Resnick with 190,000 acres. The Ofut family operates a potato farm based in Fargo, North Dakota, as well as owning RDO equipment, according to agriculture.com. Stewart and Linda, okay, well, we don't care about them. So there you go. Uh, Bill Gates, after establishing the Panopticon with, uh, you know, bringing m m personal computers and computing into the position of power that they are now in, is looking to settle down and start farming the entire United States. And based on all of his uh, vaccine stuff and genetics and the things he seems to be into, this is not good news for... <laughs> Just yeah, this is a food crazy in general. power play. Yeah, oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, and this is a, a very concerning with where food manufacturing is going. Is there any way to break? Is, is, how is this not like a, a a monopoly? How is he not a monopoly? Can't we break break him up? Yeah, break I him don't up into know. pieces. Well, Microsoft certainly has had to defend itself against uh, antitrust laws for yeah, decades he, now. But he's not Microsoft anymore. He stepped down no, technically he's not. from Microsoft. Now he's Farmer Bill. Farmer, Farmer Bill. <laughs> yeah, no, this is definitely worrisome. I mean, of course, uh, there's a lot of things to worry about when anybody amasses that type of power. Uh, and considering the way that, uh, you know, he's been uh, handling all sorts of his money based power again remember he's not an elected official he's not a doctor he's not a he's just a rich guy uh for him to be owning the most farmland in america is a little is pretty concerning especially when it comes to you know his propensity to bend the laws of nature in order to 
<laughs> quote in, in his words would be to you know for the betterment of humanity uh but uh, lots of people are pretty skeptical of the way he's going about that well and also you got to th- mention the theme earlier right of people the you know, the very few the elite taking uh-huh. over things of the common folk there's just another example where you have just a small group of people overtaking everything and, uh, yeah. and it's not everything, obviously, but that's a lot of land. That's a lot of farmland. And you know, he's going to implement some weird, you know, uh, genetic stuff or GMOs type of uh, food or because yeah, he's, well, he's complicit with. The- they make the connection right in the article talking about the three hundred and six million dollars in grants to promote high yield, sustainable agriculture among. Now, this was smallholder farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. But as we know, with Bill, his that's kind of his playbook. He spends a bunch of money and experiments in Africa before bringing it to bringing it back home. Well, that was the other question I had: is does he actually how much land does he own in Africa? Yeah. Like, and it maybe. I don't not think he owns any. Um, well, it doesn't state he owns any. He this was specifically it, this was all American holdings that was mentioned in this article. And I think this is also a precursor to uh, some of the things that we've seen in the past with Bill Gates. This was a story from 2020 uh, USA Today. Bill Gates, Tyson Foods, not instigating collapse of meat supply. Oh, they're, don't they're worry. Trying to, yeah, they're trying to debunk the the idea. Um, but it does say here that uh, Bill Gates uh, and Tyson Food have supported research in startups focusing on lab-grown meat, They're trying to undercut the nation's supply of meat amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Yada, yeah, yada, we have yada. not so, heard a lot about the lab-grown meat recently, have we? Recently, but as USA Today states, <laughs> exposing themselves or exposing Bill Gates in an attempt to debunk the crazy conspiracy theories. Is uh, that, yeah, he's a prominent supporter of lab grown and alternative meat initiatives. And so it's alarming to have a guy that owns this, that much land in the farmland in the United States that's like super into lab grown meat. You know, it's just kind of <laughs> not, the two things don't make sense. He'll make some meat, some lab meat factories on, uh, on all this land instead of raising real cows. Yeah, or just genetically modifying it. So this is CNBC.com from March 2019. How Impossible Burgers Simple Vision won hundreds of millions in funding and backing from Bill Gates. So there you go, another example. And uh, uh, let's see what Pat Brown was working in his research lab in 2009. He had zero intention of starting a business, much less one that would win United Nations backing and investment from the likes of Microsoft founder Bill Gates. So you know, you got UN and Bill Gates having the same sustainable development goals right? that we've talked about over and over and over again for years. And uh, uh, so I don't know. It, this is just uh, I don't like it. I don't yeah, like it's it. It's concerning on its face. Yeah. Can we just can we just label uh, pass laws to label kind of like the GMO <laughs> label it has laws to be labeled if it's a Bill Gates yeah. carrot Bill. <laughs> Yeah, any kind of Bill Gates Gates product or food, <laughs> we just uh, that's funny, you know. And that's that. I mean, I mean, in all seriousness, that should be a thing because even be. just for consumer rights to know who they're giving their money to, you know, if they don't want to give their money to Bill Gates and buy somebody else's potatoes. They should be able to do that. It doesn't even have to be under some like super intense, uh, you know, genetically modified blah, blah, blah. Just needs to have a little Bill Gates face down at the bottom so people can choose if they want to give their money to Bill Gates. Yeah, that's your uh, your ideal capitalism showing yeah. through there. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, it seems like it should be easier than trying, you know, cause they're trying to label all these things very intense, you know, Oh, the, the, and then it gets into a debate is GMO is GMO actually healthy or unhealthy. Should we label? What about organic? Should it be organic labeled? Should it not? Because the health of our children, no, 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 this is capitalism. Make it easy. Do yeah. I want to give my money to this guy or not? That's all I want to know. Right. well, Bill Gates is not only taking over land, but he also wants to take over the air. Oh, no. This is the Guardian.com. Bill Gates joins Blackstone in bid to buy British private jet services firm. 
Gates is Cascade Investment Fund uh, teams up with U.S. private equity firm on offer for Signature Aviation. Uh, Bill Gates has uh, joined a three billion pound bidding war to buy the world's largest private jet services company just as he prepares to publish his new book, How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. Oh, great. That is hilarious. Uh, you just buy everything and uh, inject it with GMOs. No, well, this is hilarious. He's buying the largest private jet services company while pushing <laughs> climate change problems. I know. That's this smart. is like, uh, you know, when Leonardo DiCaprio took a private jet across the Atlantic to go speak at uh, the climate accords or whatever. Right. You know, and, and th- I forget the numbers, but it's something like flying a jet. And he was like the only person on it. It's one thing to take economy and fly a jet with, you know, 500 other people, but to be the only guy in a jet to go speak about climate change is hilarious. Maybe he'll use this. You know, I would say if we, if we had him here on the line, <laughs> you'd probably, be like well i wanted to buy this big jet company so to clean I can, it up right so i can experiment with these new this new jet fuel that's made out of farmland <laughs> <laughs> just farmland just <laughs> it's powered by farmland <laughs> he just wants to buy all this farmland melt it down not oh, farm on man. it just turn it into jet fuel to fix climate change what's the problem It says here, according to a study by academics at Lund University, Gates is one of the world's biggest, quote, super emitters due due to his regular private jet travel. He took 59 (laughs) flights in one year, traveling more than 200,000 miles, according to the report, which estimated that Gates' private jet travel emitted about 1,600 tons of carbon dioxide. That compares with a global average of less than five tons per person. Researchers have found that private jets emit up to 40 times as much carbon dioxide per passenger than commercial jets. Gates, who says in the foreword to his forthcoming book that he has spent a decade investigating the cause, uh, the causes and effects of climate change, did not respond to requests for comment about his views on the carbon footprint of private jets. The billionaire has previously (laughs) said that owning private planes was his guilty pleasure. (laughs) In a Reddit Ask Me Anything in 2014, Gates said, owning a plane is a guilty pleasure. Warren Buffett called uh, his the indefensible. I do get to, uh, get to a lot of places for foundation work. I wouldn't be able to go to it without yeah, it. I wouldn't yeah. be able to get there without a private plane. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe get he's out of here. Maybe he's going to turn them all into uh, chemtrail mobiles. They are scum. This yeah. article was amended on January or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So anyway, Bill Gates, uh, yeah, he's all twisted up, man. He's a tortured man. Build if he's a better, man Bill at all. I know. Bill back better. This is like the, this is like the definition of demonic power. Yeah. Bill Gates. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Okay. Well, should we take a quick little break? Quick break. 